Hey everybody, this is Lady Led, and um, I'm out here because I want to talk about um, my non-edibles that I like to grow. And one of my favorite things to grow are petunias, especially the ones that come in these deep colors. So um, I wanted to show you all something that I've been doing for years. I don't know if many people know that you can do this because I feel like if more people know, they won't be buying these as often. But um, I like to collect my petunia seeds and re plant them and see what comes next now obviously because of plant genetics I might not get this exact plant usually what I end up with is like a velvety purple but um, I don't know you know it's always a surprise sometimes it's a amazing surprise you might get a red it's awesome but um, I want to show you how I do that because it's so so simple it's so simple it's hilarious um, and I love to do this. So I'm gonna bring the camera in up on the flower so I can show you something. Okay, so, you know, with your petunias, petunias will grow and grow and grow. They love, you know, warmth and water. So as you can see, I've got a lot of new flowers coming. But just like on a vegetable plant, the flower is not just growing just for fun. The flower is growing to produce fruit. So I'm gonna show you some petunia fruit. So this is a, a flower that got pollinated and now it's growing a seed pod inside. That is the, that's petunia fruit in there. That's the seed pod. I've got another one. Where is it? Uh, oh, that one's empty. Some of them don't get pollinated and they're empty like oh okay there's some petunia fruit in there deep down oh uh, i wish i could like okay there we go that's petunia fruit okay you've got to let it ripen when it ripens it turns brown like that this one is not quite ready it's got to get dry and start cracking open you can see that seam on the side let me see if i can back up there you go it has a seam that's where the pod is gonna open and there are little seeds inside. So there's one that I've been saving. It's on my other plant over here. So I'm gonna move. Um, here's a nice fat one. Okay, so like I was saying, you want to make sure you have some that are brown. And by the way, if you, um, if you don't wanna collect seeds and you're like, I wanna see more flowers, that is actually the part you will pinch off if you want more flowers. And let me see if this one is pollinated. This one is dead. If it's been pollinated, it'll have a little, yep, it'll have a little pot inside. There it is. This one is gonna produce some seeds. So I got one that I saved. Actually, I wanted more flowers, so I actually started plucking stuff off. But um, here's one that I saved. So um, you gotta be careful because the seeds are super small and they will fall out. So you gotta be careful. So I'm actually gonna pluck this whole thing off. I'm not gonna try to pull the pot out by itself. So I'm just pinching it, okay? Now, this is fairly dry. The seeds will be dark, they'll be really small. I'm gonna open it and I'll show you what the seeds will be like in just a minute. But first I wanna show you, I've already done this once and I sprinkled some of the um, seeds inside and they are now sprouting. So I've got, um, if you see the green, there's, there it is right there. Um, there are more, where are the rest? There's more over here. So I'm gonna show you what the seeds look like. Okay, so here's my petunia pod. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure this focuses, but I can't really see. So that's what it is. I'm going to carefully now if this was 
drier than this and sometimes they can be by now these seeds would have already spilled out but it's still ready it's still um it's still good to go I'm trying to make sure this seed. can we get some focusing going on y'all sorry i'm so sorry y'all okay so i'm just going to use one hand i usually like to use both for this process but i'm just gonna see those seeds they're really 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 tiny but the fact that they're falling out of the pot means they are ready and there's probably a few more in there I don't know let me see oh yeah so this is petunia fruit y'all I'm still in the seeds oh yeah all of that all of that I hope you can see it so, I'm going to, oh, some of them are purple. Oh, awesomeness. Um, I actually want to control this batch because I'm not certain what I want to do. I'm not going to put these directly in the dirt like I did. I'm actually going to take these and I'm going to put them in some potting soil in some, you know, the little mini uh, pots so I can monitor this a little bit more closely and I can give you an update on all of that tell you what the cut what color the flower is going to be and everything but yeah free petunia seeds just you know this what I I don't know this brings me just joy so anyway it's been I it's been fun talking to you guys I hope you find something interesting like this I don't know why this excites me so much but um find you something to grow all right, I'm out, y'all. And before I go, I just wanted to show you. I put them in an envelope. This I've got like, this is like hundreds of seeds just from that one pod. So imagine how many seeds we're letting go to waste. Look at that. Petunia seeds, y'all.